Seahawks fans know Richard Sherman as a five time pro bowler, an elite cornerback, and as the heart of the Legion of Boom, who has never been one to mince words. Sherman's passion for football and his gift for Gab are serving him well after his playing days. He has a successful podcast right now, and he just kicked off his second season as a member of Prime Video's Thursday night football broadcast team. Our Terry Holloman chatted with Sherman to learn about his turn to television. Richard Sherman, thank you for joining us here on New Day, man. Appreciate you spending some time with us. First and foremost, congratulations on another season on Thursday Night Football, man. It seems like this is something you were born to do. I appreciate that. That's what it feels like to me, too. You know, I love my career playing football in the National Football League, playing it in college. You know, that was the childhood dream. But I feel like I'm going to make such an impact in this space. I'm enjoying it. You know, every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, we're out there doing our thing. We got Minnesota and Philly, the first game of the season. I'm looking forward to that. We got Seattle and Dallas later on in the year. I can't wait for that one. I could get a chance for the Seahawks to flex their muscles, man. I'm having a blast. Yeah, yeah, like I said, we're going to talk about that a little later on as well. But you spoke about the, you know, going from college football to professional football to now being a multimedia guy. How are you adjusting to TV life? Is there anything that's been surprising to you about that? You know, the little, a little bit of hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, hurry up, get to your spot, and then wait for a while. You know, it's just, just different and adjusting to that part of it. But I think the surprising part is, is how – fun and how smooth it's been you know I thought I, I would struggle at you know just being on camera and trying to trying to you know you, you got to make your facial expressions you got to worry about this you got to worry about this camera and look over here and look over here and I just I, I feel like I just do my best to stay organic be myself you know be prepared have the facts have the statistics have the information off the top of my head and and be able to deliver it effectively and that's worked out well for me and and that's why I've enjoyed it you know I've tried not to to be an actor or a character on TV. You know, some people get caught in that space. So um, I think, it, you know, you live your life being yourself, then, you know, that's the only thing you know. Yeah, that's why I said I thought you were a natural fit for this. The transition seems like it's been smooth and seamless. But at the other hand, live TV is no joke, man. You got to be on point. You got to have all your things in order. You got to be mindful of some of the things you say. Do you ever get online and get on social media and check out some of the things people are saying in real time? No, no, no. I just, that's a toxic place. You know, social media is a toxic place for everybody. And usually it's, 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 you know, people wanting to, to wallow in their own sorrows and bring people down and, you know, criticize, criticize, criticize. And it's rarely a space where you see people encourage one another and, and say, hey, man, that was a great job, great show. Unless you're saying something they want to hear. Uh, hey, you're, you know, their team is the Seahawks, and you're saying the Seahawks are going to win the Super Bowl. Then they're like, yeah, good job. But then the other teams are like, hey, you suck. You know, so you just can't <laughs> – you can't fall into that trap, you know, of, of reading, the, reading the comments or reading all that because it will just mess with your spirit. I learned that in probably 2012 after the Tom Brady, you mad bro thing. I was like, yeah. you know, you see – people with no no profile picture saying some of the most hateful stuff you've ever seen in your life. That is it. It's usually somebody with no profile picture or a picture of some kind of animal or cartoon and the number 1767253 after their name. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Rich, you are one of the most plugged in guys that I know right now. Like I said, you're all over multimedia mogul in the making. You have the Richard Sherman podcast going on. How does that complement what you're doing right now with the Amazon broadcast? Well, it complements it very well because I do it Monday through Wednesday and I get people ready and prepared for the show we're about to do on Prime Video on Thursday night at 7 p.m. So I think it gives me a lot of practice. It gives me a lot of a lot of energy, information. You know, it gives me reps. And we talked about reps making you better. And I need more reps. The more reps you get, the smoother, the better you are at delivering, the better you are at delivering inflections and and not making mistakes and taking your time, you know, being able to change speeds and change gears when you're delivering information. So I think it's been positive. I, you know, I think um, my team at Amazon, I'm, I'm excited to get back on the desk with those guys, those, you know, with Whitworth and Tony and Fitz and Carissa, uh, Michael Smith, Taylor Rooks, you know, we have a really fantastic team and, a, and it's a great show and I can't wait to get back with those guys. 
and you can watch Richard Sherman and the rest of the Thursday night football crew that he just mentioned when the Vikings face off against the Eagles tonight on Prime Video.